She's back. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a vlog video and I did an intro, a proper intro for the video yesterday, but I had crust and shit all over my eye area. So I'm like, I'm not putting my shit out there like that on YouTube. So here I am doing an intro. Um, but what I was talking about in the beginning of the vlog is I want to start the day off with yoga and exercising and meditating, which I did none of because I was on the front phone with my friend Nina for like an hour and I wanted to go to the thrift store because I went thrifting in New Jersey, which you guys will see in a second. You're going to follow me on that journey. So let's get into this vlog. Oh, and for my new people that are here, if you are new here, do not forget to click that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you know when I post. I always forget to tell y'all that. I don't even know why because it's actually really, really important and it helps me out. But before I work out, you guys, I did realize that I got a couple of comments on my Style My Workers Like video. So I'm going to answer those because I feel like that is priority responding to you guys. I'm so happy you enjoyed that video. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I put 10 looks together styling my new Boston Birkenstocks because I love them. And yeah, I just felt like I, that was some good content, rather. That was some good content. <laughs> thrifting in New Jersey I'm so so excited like I have been wanting to go thrifting in New Jersey for the longest I heard that's where the fire is so that's where your girl gotta be and I really want to find like more button-ups I really want more like linen button-ups silk button-ups because I feel like I can do more tops and also more bottom like I feel like I wear the same bottoms all the time which is like my army or my like cargo pants and also my like blue wide leg Japanese looking pants those two I wear so so much and I feel like I'm only wearing those so I just want to like more wide leg pants maybe another cargo stuff like that some linen you know y'all know my babe how are you guys doing today how have you been doing during quarantine I want to know what you guys have been doing during quarantine because honestly I feel like it'll inspire me Feel like no one has the same routine so drop down below what you've been doing during should i call it quarantine is it necessary is that the correct term to call it is we is it i don't know i think quarantine is right right quarantine is when you have it and you have to y'all know what i mean well i don't know if some of you guys have noticed but i got my um treus pierced yeah very uh random out on the limb i haven't thinking about it and then i was like out and then i was like let me just do it like i, I really want to do it so i did it i think it looks really cute with my hoop earrings so it's a whole little vibe and i also wanted to get it because i feel like when i don't wear these i don't wear like any other earrings really for the most part i just don't really remember to wear earrings sometimes so i like that this is there so i always have something on but let's get into this outfit of the day. So I am wearing this MM6 top that I got from The Real Real. I absolutely love it. It reminds me of like a pirate slash like bat situation. This is like my one staple piece that's like an out there piece, but it's still like really timeless. So I love it. Cargos are my blend supply co. Y'all know I wear these all the freaking time. And then y'all already know I'm wearing my Birkenstocks because they just work for today. I'm gonna be rustling and bustling in the damn thrift store. And then for accessories, y'all already know, I already told y'all I think, selfie blue white earrings. This little ring that I thrifted. It's not a real ring, it's like turning on the back and you know, as you can see. But I still feel like it's a cool ring I like to wear from time to time. So today is going to be a journey. I think I have to take like five buses, two trains. Anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. So I think it'll be fun. Hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, let's get into it. 
I'm supposed to find bus 192. I just asked the bus man, one bus man. He like, I don't know what you're talking about. So that just scared me because I'm like, okay, where it says it's near. So yeah, your girl is lost right now, but typical in New York. That's why I like when Connor is with me because he always knows where to go. And I don't have to deal with this. Wow. The smell of piss is like really strong over here. But yeah, I'm like uh, in Times Square right now, which I really hate to be in Times Square. But it's actually not as overwhelming as it usually is. It's not like so many people out right now. We put a mask up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to you guys when I hopefully find this damn bus. I would have never knew that. Coming from Chicago, when you say bus, I think that the bus is gonna be always outside. But shit, to get to the bus here, you have to go up the escalator to a post, buy a ticket, the most. At least I found it. from New York you have to steadily refresh your direction if you miss the time that it says it's scheduled to come so I didn't refresh so I was at the wrong bus stop and luckily the guy asked me like where's you going like the bus driver he was like kind of rude he's like where's you going and I'm like dude like I know this is my bus I'm like uh 31st and he's like I'm not going there and so then they were just so helpful the guy was like I'm not supposed to do this but walk all the way down don't talk to nobody and just make a left and then you're gonna run into the bus that you need to run into. So I'm so happy that he was like nice enough to let me do that, otherwise I would have missed the bus. We're moving! But this is so fun. Um, I'm not gonna be on here too long, only for like 17 minutes, but still a fun time. adventure by myself yeah 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 and this lady passed my freaking stop i press stop requested and she goes past it and i'm looking at my um phone like wait maybe she gonna make a u-turn maybe she needs to do something but then the little voice inside me said no go ask that lady where she going where she going thank god i asked her where she was going honey because she was like oh no i passed that stop and i'm not going back i'm like wait let me off right here so I had to walk on the freaking expressway, y'all, because she had to let me off literally on the expressway. She's talking about to be safe. And I didn't even want to hear what she had to say, because I'm like, girl, you just passed my stop. I passed, pressed stop requested. All she was to say was, I'm sorry, like, OMG. <laughs> I feel like you really had to pay attention to that as a bus driver, especially people that's not from New York, from New Jersey, and like taking a trip. Shit. Already was a hassle being here. Anyway. I think I'm going the right direction now. Shit, I don't, I'm scared to see how I'm gonna get home, y'all. God damn. So I am not gonna lie to y'all, I'm so happy to see this little piece of hut. <laughs> Cause after dealing with all these buses and trains, y'all, like I'm honestly exhausted and hungry. Like so hungry. I had breakfast, but yeah, she done worked up a sweat, so she finna smash this cheese pizza with this Pepsi. But I am a little bit afraid for my skin, I'm not gonna lie, cause grease and caffeine is the perfect combination for a breakout. So, I guess we can just say cheat day. <laughs> okay. They say, don't want any more especially. Hello? Yep, <laughs> I heard you back. Y'all, I was just thinking like, this thrift store better be worth it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Baby. I'm just sitting outside of a bank. Chase. Eating my pizza on this little stoop. Because I didn't want to eat inside the pizza hut, obviously, because of COVID.
So that is a wrap you guys i have gone to the thrift store and i am finally back in new york it actually wasn't a bad route there or back even it's just now i know how to get there <laughs> um, but i am waiting on the correct train so i'm really excited about that because i do not want to do the whole run around but i found some really good pieces you guys and i'm super 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 excited to show you what i got from the thrift yeah. store okay. all right the train is coming so i'm gonna see you guys when i get home <laughs> about to cut these little boy pants into shorts so for these shorts y'all i want to cut them and make them look like the like shorts like the wide leg shorts they like come a little bit beyond the knee or above the knee anyway they like a little bit straight and long so i want to make some like midi shorts so that's why I got these because I've been looking at ones by like Redone and I think Simon Miller, but they're just like, you know, over hundred dollars and I definitely feel like you can get that style at the thrift store. So, and another thing that I'm going to do to these is take off the little gap shit. I don't like that. So definitely taking that off with a knife. I don't have a seam ripper um, just because I like a clean pocket. them i figured i would show you guys what i got because i feel like y'all have followed me on this damn journey so i might as well show y'all because i'm not trying them on until tomorrow because they have to dry because a lot of the pieces that i got are like cottons and silks i don't like to put my cottons and silk in the dryer so i'm gonna hand wash them to save myself four dollars and fifty cents period let's get into it all right y'all so the first piece that i'm going to show you are these little basketball shorts and they are by nike and i got them because i want to start like running outside and i don't have any like workout stuff so these are going to be perfect for like running outside in and also i feel like they look really cool too with like the little stitching that they have going around like the border looks like a little border or something like that but i think they're super cute little sport shorts i got them in a little boy section and they were 2.99 it's funny because in chicago y'all already know i like to bring it back to chicago but something like this would have been like 50 cents the unique thrift store that i went to, to today which was in new jersey it was a little bit more expensive than i was expecting it to be like they definitely know what they had like they had a couple like east st laurent pieces that i've seen and those were like 25 dollars anything with like a designer that is like known of it was like 25 dollars and up but i'm used to finding stuff like that at my unique in chicago and it still be three dollars so but three dollars and then the shorts that i or the jeans that i just cut from the little boy section these were 5.99 and i just cut them and i think they're gonna be super super cute on and i got them in a like children's or like junior 10 because Feel like that'll fit me perfectly i have my other ones that were like in a junior 10 junior 14 or something like that but anyway a junior 10 fits my 23 24 waist so looking forward to seeing what these look like ah! next week you guys getting into this blazer here 
and I have a blazer in this color but not in this like style and I love the texture of it for one that's what gravitated it towards me that's why I was gravitated towards it um, I don't know if you guys can see but it almost looks like a linen like cotton blend I don't know the fabric for sure for sure but I feel like it was a very nice looking blazer has like one wait can y'all see a couple pockets and this one was ten dollars y'all again I'm used to paying like six dollars for blazers but I was like let me stop being cheap like it's just ten dollars so super super happy oh and this one was i think like 25 percent off actually so really really good deal for this definitely gonna wear it with like a t-shirt and like some shorts and like a little yeah it's gonna be a cute little fit nextly you guys getting into a, another button up because i told y'all i wanted some button ups i didn't find any like linen ones which i'm a little upset about which i was really looking forward to finding but found another striped one i mean can't have too many right this is literally like my fourth striped shirt <laughs> yeah i love them they just look really nice and crisp with jeans shorts look cute little silver necklace my hoops and i just feel like the chicest beach ever when i wear little button-ups this one is 100 percent cotton which i was like yes it's by a brand morona i think it was sold at like target or something like that if i'm not mistaken this one was seven dollars you guys which i feel like isn't a bad price for 100 percent cotton button-up and I know that I'll get a lot of use out of it because I just, again, love a button up. Nextly, and I don't even know kind of why I got this, but I thought it was like kind of funny and kind of cool. It like reminds me of the shirts that I would see growing up in like the early 2000s, like the little spray paint shirts in the middle of the mall, the man or the girl would be like, come let me spray paint you a shirt for like $20. And it kind of reminds me of that and I think I had a shirt like this when I was like younger probably like 10 or something um yeah I feel like it's like nostalgia of my childhood so that's why I got it and I don't really know how I'm gonna style this yet but um stay tuned for the ma because she gonna have some looks of show folks shop also I really like the high neck of this I feel like it's gonna be really really cute on and I think it's gonna be a little crop situation yeah early 2000 vibes <laughs> Next, you guys get into this little silk top that I got. And this is the piece that I'm honestly most excited about. I don't know where the hell I'm going to wear it to. But for $3.99, I could not leave her. And it is 100% freaking silk. So I don't know if y'all can see, but it kind of is going to like tie around the neck. And then you have like the little arms out like that. Cute and like a little flirty. And it's in a size like 10, it says. But... We'll see how it, how it does. I feel like I can just tie this as tight as I want it and it'll be fine. And then the, the bottom will be really bouncy. But really, really looking forward to styling this, y'all. Like, I literally cannot wait. And then the last piece that I got, you guys, is this cotton t-shirt for Connor, actually. Because I feel like this shirt would look really nice on him. This, like, color. It says Minnesota Golden Golfers, I think. And he actually said that this is a really good school. Y'all know I am not a college grad, so I wouldn't know. But Connor is, he's very smart. And he said this is a really good school, so he don't mind representing the Golden Golfers. All right, you guys, so that actually sums up this vlog. I'm gonna go to the grocery store now because we have no freaking food in the house. So that's why I did that very quickly. And yeah, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to click that subscribe button because as I said before, you do not want to miss this thrift haul, y'all. It's going to be super, super fire. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.